Nebraska's abortion restriction bill failed to move forward yesterday. 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney found out whether a new bill could be considered this session. There aren't too many surprise votes in the legislature, and this year especially, it seems that votes are decided before debates have even begun on a bill. But a last-minute change of heart in Thursday's debate on abortion derailed a bill that many thought would surely pass. Pro-life Nebraskans were heartbroken and totally caught off guard. Danik said Reapy's vote wasn't just a slap in the face for Nebraskans opposed to abortion. It also betrayed the trust her organization had given Reapy during his election campaign. Nebraska Right to Life took Senator Reapy at his word that he was pro-life and would vote to protect life. And we feel the responsibility for calling him out on that. Reapy told lawmakers on Thursday he is pro-life, but felt the six-week ban was not what the voters he'd heard from want. The reaction to LB 626 failure was swift from proponents and opponents alike. <laughs> Plant Parenthood of North Central States applauded the move, saying in a statement, it means abortion will remain safe and legal in our state, providing people with the bodily autonomy they deserve. We have made it clear, no bans, not now, not ever, and not in our state. Reapy's vote, though, came as a shock to those advocating for more restrictions on abortions. The Nebraska GOP released a statement following Thursday's vote, calling on Reapy to reconsider his motion for cloture. That sentiment was echoed by Governor Jim Pillen, but some policy experts say that reconsideration is unlikely. It's very unlikely. The motion to reconsider um, has never been applied to the motion to invoke cloture. And if you look at um, the major parliament parliamentary authorities like Robert's Rules of Order, Mason's Manual of Legislative Procedure, it all, it all says that um, a motion to reconsider would be out of order in this case. The timing of the motion also means reconsideration is unlikely. Reapy would only have one legislative day, or by the end of the day Tuesday, to file his reconsideration motion. With a redo on LB 626 unlikely, those four abortion restrictions must wait until the next session to introduce another bill. And advocates like Danik say that is exactly what they plan to do. Well, we've been doing this for more than 50 years. We're not going away. Uh, we, we had more pro-life Nebraskans engaged in this process, record numbers. We will continue this fight as we have for more than 50 years. In Lincoln, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now.